Traditionally, asthma has been managed with two inhalers, one for daily maintenance and one for rescue when a person is having asthma symptoms. There's a newer strategy called SMART where there's one inhaler used for both maintenance and rescue. This video explains how to use a single inhaler for both maintenance and rescue therapy to manage your child's asthma, when to call your child's provider, and when to get emergency care. SMART stands for Single Maintenance and Reliever or Rescue Therapy. Just one inhaler with two different medicines in it is used for both maintenance or prevention and rescue or quick relief. The inhaler combines an inhaled steroid medication to lower inflammation or swelling in the airways with a fast-acting bronchodilator, similar to albuterol, to keep your child's breathing tubes open. Using the combined inhaler helps many children and teenagers control their asthma better than separate controller and rescue inhalers. SMART is for people aged 5 and older with moderate persistent or ongoing asthma, people who do not like having two separate inhalers for maintenance and rescue, people who do not rely on a nebulizer machine because SMART is administered via an inhaler, and people who may have difficulty or may forget to take their controller medication every day. This medication is taken by an inhaler with a holding chamber or spacer and either a face mask or mouthpiece. For step-by-step -step video instructions of how to take this medicine, see our videos, how to use an inhaler with a spacer and face mask, and how to use an inhaler with spacer and mouthpiece. Your child's provider will give you a copy of the Asthma Action Plan. This is a document that summarizes what medications to take and when to take them. It is divided into green, yellow, and red zones indicating how severe the asthma attack is. Your child's provider will prescribe one to two puffs inhaled one or two times per day when your child is well for maintenance. When asthma symptoms flare, they take one puff as needed to treat those symptoms for quick relief. If symptoms do not go away in five to 10 minutes, they may take an additional one puff. They can repeat taking one puff every five to 10 minutes until symptoms improve. Unlike a plan with albuterol as the rescue medicine, you do not have to wait four hours between puffs. Call your child's medical provider if you have any questions or concerns about your child's health or your child is not improving as expected. Your child is between five and 11 years old and needs a total of eight puffs or more of their smart combined inhaler in a 24 hour period. Or your child is 12 years or older and needs a total of 12 puffs or more of their smart combined inhaler in a 24 hour period. Seek emergency care and take the medications in the red zone of your asthma action plan. If your child has severe symptoms such as breathing hard and fast or very short of breath, trouble walking or talking, lips or fingernails are gray or bluish, excessively tired or lethargic, or their nose opens wide and ribs show with each breath. Seek emergency care if your child is between 5 and 11 years old and need a total of four puffs or more of their smart combined inhaler in one hour, or your child is 12 years or older and needs a total of six puffs or more of their smart combined inhaler in one hour. Your child may be instructed to take one puff of the smart combined inhaler every four hours for 48 hours after you go home from the hospital or until their primary care provider sees them for a follow-up appointment. Then, Resume your SMART Asthma Action Plan in the green zone. The next time your child has an asthma flare, they should use extra puffs of the SMART Combined Inhaler to treat their symptoms. Note that your child may not receive SMART Combined Inhalers if they're being treated for asthma in the emergency room or if they're staying in the hospital. For more information about SMART for asthma, please contact your medical provider.